I want to talk about spiritual superiority. In my youth, I grew up in a Christian home. My mom is here, big family, and is, is a culture of family. I believe in God, but outside church, uh, outside of the church society, con country where I live is totally atheist, atheistic country and even I couldn't go to college because I confess that, that I am Christian and the subject on atheism in every college if you will not put your mark that you that you agree with it you cannot receive your diploma and that's really affect you when you live in such a society shortly after my home I discovered that my faith in God was so little. In the end, I was lost, uh, uh, lost it. But assuming that Yuri Gagarin, if you know, first cosmon cosmonaut who came uh, from space on Earth, and looks like he brought big answer that there is he did not meet God and we can live happy and peacefully on earth. Do not worry that we have to be accountable for somebody up there. But that good report, joyful report, didn't, brought me, didn't bring me peace and joy and happiness. Shortly I was discovered that to live without supernatural is blindness. I was so pitiful to, toward the people who live without, no, without knowing, discovering that there is supernatural. It's the same life to ignore supernatural as Vladimir talked today, as fish deny the, the water. It's, it's foolishness. Shortly, I discover for myself, I, I, I was sure that God exists because I saw few supernatural things which were not explained just logically. But my fighting will uh, not stop there. Shortly I discovered that beside the, the supernatural power of God, there is supernatural power of devil. And that's my biggest uh, torture and fight war was there. My thoughts right now about spiritual super superiority. And within my, my heart, my soul, in my young age, I was fighting and fighting because I never saw God. I never saw devil. I never... Um, could could uh, saw that that duel that they're fighting. Who among them is st stronger? I could not see uh, wind, electricity, my conscious love, but I believe all many things which we cannot see exist. We cannot see God. We cannot see devil. But evidence is proved. But who? Among, among them are stronger. That's what my question was. I have opportunity, and all of you, we have opportunity today through internet, go far beyond your home, your, 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 your city, your, your family, and see many things, and I do too. I often listen debates between uh, atheistic people and Christians, different religions and uh, uh, different opinions. And I really like to see and listen testimonies what we do in our church. Not long ago, I heard testimony of one Muslim young man. Uh, he is the son of top seven, seven uh, Muslim leaders of Hamas. And he was really strong in his belief, pursuing his Islamic idea and 
in all his, his mission, he cried out always, death to America, Christians and, and, and Jews. And in his activity, he ended a few times in prison. And, and, uh, in, and his fighting met, met serious confrontation. In the end, he met Bible and Quran and put them together and start, started seriously study of these two religions. I, I, really, I really love to prove my faith every time. Time make it stronger and stronger and stronger. And they, I do not afraid to put my faith in test and in comparison with different religions and to observe how every time my religion, my belief, my God is superior. And when I, when I heard he, his long testimony and the, he, he described how, how his life was from, from very young age, how he was involved five, five times every day to pray, fast, and, and many, 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 many rituals which tied to this religion. In the end, his points of doubts started with that. That Prophet Muhammad, being a prophet, and he tried to look and find out and discover, discover his prophecies, and he didn't find, find it. And he discovered that he is a believer and follower a prophet who do not have prophecies. That his was first uh, doubts. Secondly, is every human, every man on earth, uh, if we believe in God, we, 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 we understand that it's supernatural being creator of all things and uh, revealing if God reveals himself he must reveal himself is in some kind of supernatural manifestation describing his his uh, study his searching uh, this young man Son, son of uh, of a, a Hamas leaders. He he start looking for in ministry of Islam, in ministry of Muhammad. Is there is supernatural confirmation? Is there is supernatural evidence in this teaching, in this faith, which can prove of God existence? If God exists, he has to, he must reveal himself being supernatural, in supernatural manifestation to prove himself to his creation. And he didn't find it too. And did, when he didn't find nothing of it, he came to total confusion and in his faith, he, he turned toward Bible and start to study Bible. Brothers and sisters, each of us, we have inner void, which can be filled by supernatural things. But we have to know, as I had in my youth, we, we do not have to be satis, satisfied by just because it's supernatural. Because Moses and in Egypt were two magic side, two opposite side was supernatural. All witchcraft, magicians, things supernatural, in Egypt and today our society, scientists, intel, intel, intelligent people, 
there today not many people who do not believe God as Vladimir really often uh, repeat in our in our uh, services prayer cannot be removed from our schools until there is test and I am a fan of soccer and when I see Macy when he uh, make the difference in score and always put cross on himself for me he is a great preacher I really like when people on a stage on a wrestle match or on a boxing arena they really turn their 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 eyes to God God help me but we have to understand there is two powers and so important for us do not be a, a in delusion and jump just and the first some kind of manifestation we have to be really careful uh, study accurately because to be blind in area of uh, of supernatural that's the miserable life but to be light uh, and to be in delusion and jump on the wrong supernatural side its biggest problem it's so important for us when we today celebrate Easter to a great privilege and grace from God to have such a leader our Savior who is God himself who came on this earth not only prove supernatural manifestation and show supernatural manifestation is in Egypt and today in in pag, pag, pagan war, uh, world magician witchcraft uh, and all dark wor world can can make their manifestation and many religions they have supernatural and they can do something even heal even even uh, make some kind things which moves but as this son of Hamas you can easily find him on YouTube his books his testimony he came to conclusion that he lives in the world without supernatural but important for us that Christianity has in itself not only supernatural which can help in the life of healing deliverance bringing breakthrough signs and wonders in temporal temporal life but on a day of resurrection we celebrate today that's that's biggest event in the universe which split history in half on the Calvary Jesus Christ solved not only problem of diseases sicknesses curses and the earthly our problem but he solved global biggest problem out of humanity problem which cannot solve medical personality medicine today in in advanced beyond our imagination but problem of death is not conquered and will and never will be but 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 just one person in the earth one religion who has within our author our leader our savior he was crucified he was buried he totally 100 percent were dead but today we celebrate that's greatest event in history 
Jesus Christ rose from the dead and conquered the death and breed, bring for us life and victory. Hallelujah. These things so important. Each of us, we have to be re really careful. It's easy to live life in delusion, delusion and blindness, far away, far away from supernatural. It's miserable life. It's life which ignores reality. But secondly, it's easy to follow the things supernatural which not truth. We have to clearly understand God is superior and he by his own death on the cross conquered death and gave for us internal life. Hallelujah. Today, having such a great God, his manifestation not only cares in, in our earthly life, no, he cares for our eternity. And Bible said, said, if God the Father gave his only begotten son and as a ransom for our redemption, how, how with him he will not give us all things with which we ask uh, from him. Right now, we have time for prayer. You have to believe. Supernatural superiority. All things are possible for our God. He is superior. Hallelujah.